No pictures, please. <laughs> no pictures, please. No pictures, please. No pictures, please. <laughs> Quite obviously not a celebrity. Hi, my name is Rachel Zegler. If you're new here, which you're probably not, it's time for a Lady Gaga hydration break. Are you drinking your water? Uh, some of you did not get... Okay, I will give you five seconds to go. You could pause this video, grab a glass of water. You're not hydrated. You're wondering why you're so sad all the... Come on. Okay. Are you ready now? Lady Gaga hydration break. Go. So... Hi, Rachel Editing here. <laughs> I just want to say, why do I look like a YouTuber who just had a scandal? Like, why do I look like I'm about to wipe the fake tears off my face and be like, I'm so sorry for dating in the middle of a pa I'm projecting. I'm so sorry for partying in the middle of this pandemic. Why do I look like that? You had good news, bitch. Get it together. We've got some stuff to talk about. The allegations are true. I am in Shazam too. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, not talking about which role I'm playing, what we're doing. Am I a hero? Am I a villain? Am I a, 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 a am I a baby? Am I a a boot? Am I an article of clothing that is worn by Zachary Levi at some point in the film? I don't know. Neither will you. Real talk, so freaking excited about <laughs> being cast in this movie. The first Shazam film was one of my favorite movies. It is so comforting. It's so lovely. It really is delightful, kind of terrifying at times. So it throws you for a loop. So much respect for that cast. So much love for that cast and that director, uh, David Sandberg, who is also directing Shazam 2. I've been at it for a while, but I actually only found out yesterday morning and I wasn't expecting it to become public knowledge, but it did. And um, I was just scrolling through Twitter and all of a sudden I saw an article with my face next to Zachary Levi in his costume. And I was like, Oh my god, everybody knows. If you don't know, when it came to getting cast in West Side Story, I only had five days to kind of sit with that information before it became public knowledge and everybody knew. And, and that was incredibly overwhelming. Um, but I have to say that I think that this announcement was more overwhelming for me because there were so many incredible comic book fans, comic book movie fans, DC Comics fans, DC Extended Universe fans, and they have all been so lovely. You have all been so welcoming to me. I'm I'm the newbie, I'm the new kid in a lot of ways, you know? My movie still hasn't come out yet. People could choose to doubt my ability. People could choose to doubt that I'm any good or good enough to be in this film, but I've seen so much kindness, so much outpouring of love and support, and for that I am incredibly grateful. For those who don't know, this industry is super cutthroat. It's insane. A lot of times when you're at your happiest, when you're announcing something to the world that you're really proud of, um, there are people who are not happy for you, and they're allowed to not be happy for you, but sometimes they're really loud about it, and it can make you feel really bad, like absolute trash. And I did see some negative comments yesterday honest to god it 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 means nothing compared to such incredible words that i was able to read so much speculation of who i might be playing it's amazing how dedicated these fans are and and i feel like i found my people because i too am very dedicated in in my craft and in the movies that i like to watch and a lot of comic book movies and everything like that i'm i'm so elated to be joining this cast in such an incredible story having loved the first film so much and i'm so excited to share that with you obviously things might look a little different in the coming months uh, we'll see what happens i don't know how often i'll be able to post what i'll be able to even share with you about my journeys in in everything that i'm doing industry wise um i've gotten a couple of comments that are like well, what about my side story and i don't think a lot of people understand how making a movie works um i already filmed and wrapped west side story uh in 2019 we wrapped at the end of september of 2019 um we all said goodbye and now we're just waiting for that film to come out obviously due to COVID-19 the film was pushed out to December 10th of this year it was supposed to come out December 18th of 2020 um but now it's coming out um, at the end of this year and I'm so excited to share that with you. I'm excited for you to see all of the magic we created, the costumes, the choreography, the vocals, the sets, the love that we all had for each other while working on that movie and we continue to have today. I'm so excited to share it with you and I'm excited for you all to see it. Say excited one more time, Rachel. 
stay excited one more time. And it's time for me to move on from the world of Maria Vasquez and to step in to Shazam 2 and that family and, and find my inner Shazam. <laughs> I, I, can't, I know I keep repeating myself. But I'm so incredibly shocked by the love and support. I'm overwhelmed with excitement to start work on it. I, I really just can't. I can't wait. I'm, I'm giddy. I'm giddy. I really am. I, I'm so excited. I hope you all look at this as a, as dreams come true. I, a lot of people have pointed out in some of my old tweets, I've talked about Shazam before. I've talked about Zach before. I've, I, I've talked about it. These tweets are proof that manifestation works. True manifestation, which I really did when it came to booking this part. It's a movie that I wanted to do. And when it came into my inbox, I was like, sign me up yeah I, I don't even know what to say so many people to thank obviously want to thank my team at icm partners who support me every step of the way <laughs> when i book it when i don't they are there for me and i love them so much and my family i know this isn't like an acceptance speech or anything like that but um you know my mom dad and my sister they are here day in and day out while i am filming these self tapes while i am talking to directors while i'm having zoom meetings and chemistry reads and all these things, they're the most supportive. So to my mom, dad, and sister, thank you very much for being there for me. To you all, of course, thank you so much for supporting every step on my journey. Whether I take you to the streets of Manhattan, dancing in beautiful dresses, or if I'm in a comic book movie, which I never thought I'd be able to say. That's all I really have to say today. I just wanted to keep you all posted. I, For some reason, I never made a video formally announcing that I had received the role of Maria in West Side Story. I think that might have been because I didn't know how to approach it and it was also overwhelming at the time. Now I have a bit better of an idea of what this industry means and what this world is. So I'm bringing that news to you here on YouTube because I know that there are some people who only have me here on YouTube. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, on my Twitter to see my journeys, to see what I'm doing. That's at Rachel Zegler. Put it here on the screen. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. I welcome you to join me. It's a fun time, I think. Kind of crazy, kind of unhinged, but also at the end of the day, it's a beautiful community and we're all there for each other. That being said, we are off. I love you so very much. Remember to stay smiling, stay singing, and always consider the coconut and I'll see you real soon. Shazam! Sometimes I wane, sometimes I wonder